when my daughter was three years old, right? Every night at 10 p.m., she'd walk in my room, clap her hands and yell, me want juice. I didn't argue with her. I just gave her the fucking juice. Despite the odds of her peeing the bed being raised up over 65% after she drinks the juice, y'all, I don't care. I stopped trying to do the math on that years ago. July 27, 2016, she was born at 22 weeks, 6 days, 1 pound, 9 ounces with a 17% chance of survival. See, the doctors did the math on that. She could literally fit in the palm of my hand. I remember thinking to myself that heaven isn't quite so heavy after all. That if God created the earth in seven days and surely 22 weeks was more than enough, my baby girl was so underdeveloped that under light, her brain was visible through her skull. Every eight minutes, she'd forget to breathe. See, I did the math on that. That's seven times an hour, 168 times a day. Imagine being born for your will to survive is ever an instinct. Every 480 seconds, she held life in her lungs. Unsure if this world was worthy of her witchcraft. I mean, this is how an incubator begins to look like a casket. See, the doctors did the math on it. Said there was a 75% chance that she would make it through the night, but she did. A 40% chance that she would make it through the week, and she did. A 30% chance that she would make it through the month, and she did. Five months in the NICU, I was 100% sure that my baby girl had a miracle up her sleeve that God had planned for her still. You see, my hope did the math on that. I remember vividly the sight of the wires and injections, the stitches, the beeping, the monitors, the prayers, the prayers, the prayers, the fucking prayers from mama, from grandmama, from sister, from auntie performing a black girl magic transfusion 137 days. Each single day was a Hail Mary from here to heaven. Y'all should have seen the way God, Odell, beckoned my prayers. In her first 24 hours on this earth, she showed me that a mathematician can't calculate a miracle. That survival is not about your will to live, but rather refusing to die. So at 10 p.m., when my three-year-old daughter would walk into my room, clap her hands and yell, me, want juice. I didn't argue with her. I just gave her the fucking juice. She'll be all right. She'll prove us all wrong again. And I don't need to do the math on that.